What is up, what's up, what is up, FS Club? Welcome back to the channel. Well, today, guys, we're gonna be doing something a little bit different than we usually do. We're actually combining FS Daily News with the new mods. I think this is what we're gonna be doing from now on to give you guys one whole video with everything that's going on in Farming Simulator today. Let me know what you guys think about it in the comment section below. But today, of course, it is Friday. We got new mods, we got a testing list. You know what? Let's roll that intro. Here we go. Welcome back. Okay, so here is how FS Daily News is going to go. At the beginning, we're going to be doing, of course, the regular news for the day. And also, if you guys notice down below, there is actually timestamps on everything. So in case you guys want to go ahead or you guys want to go forward to a certain thing, you guys can go ahead and do that. Okay, so the first piece of news we're we'll going over today is from Case Aries Modding and their new Case IH 2388 which is aimed for all platforms. They have this to say though, hello everyone, it's been a long time since the last time we posted about it. We decided to redo all the textures and a lot of the parts to make it even more realistic. Now with manual UV maps and normal maps. Next to do is dirt maps, specular, and it will be ready to be in game. Remember this will be coming out to all platforms. This looks good right here. We don't have many case harvesters in the game. And then after that, we got something from Dutch Modding Incorporated. Of course, their cow shed. They have this to say, how to end the week better than to share some eye candy with you. The new cow shed is coming along nicely. More info soon, so stay tuned. Remember, this will be coming out to all platforms too on this one. And on to the last piece of regular news for today. And this is from Ambassador Italy and his new excavator. This is Kamatsu PC 300, which is a work in progress. So it's be coming out to all platforms, PC, Xbox, PS4, PS5, and of course the Xbox series. Uh, so that right there, guys, is all the regular news for today. What is next on the schedule? Next is, guys, of course, we got the new mods. And so here we are to take a look at the new mods on consoles for today. Well, actually, the last new mods for the week. Okay, what do we get on consoles for today? We got the Ribiri RS100RB, which is from SMI Modding. We got the Lazy Acres Farm, which is a new map, which I'll be doing a new map tour later on today. We got the KFMR Kroquak Pyrus Z653, the Lizard N035, the Lizard Boogeyman Dolly, the Man TGX ATF Pack, Lizard Underbelly Trailer, the OBE PX125150, the Bedner Terraland Pack, the Pig Enclosure Nature, the Pack of Fences, the Brand Yard Signs, and Old Wooden Fence. So that is the new mods. On updates for today, we got the RDC FS19, the Lee Razi Del Nord, the Class Zerion 3000 series, the Samson Slurry Pack, Optional Fertilization, the Homer Slurry Pack, the Joss Gonzalez Base 2245, and the Slurry Dealer Pack. So that is all the new mods and updates for today. Let's go over them real quick, guys. And here we go with the first mod for today. This is the Rabiri RS100RB from SMI Modding. This is a loading wagon, which is actually a mower too. So it can be put in either section. This is 37,100. It is 18 slots, holds up to 35,500 liters. Let's see, it does require 85 horsepower and 2.5 working meters on the mower part. Uh, but anyways, options, you got the 3400 or you got the 3500 500. Let's actually take a look at this one in game. Okay, and here we are in game with the Rabiri. Okay, let's get into the fence real quick. This is a base game tractor. Let's actually put up the options so you guys can see. Okay, so there we go. As you guys can see, you can't hire a worker though. You cannot do that. Okay, so let's go right over here. Let's actually lower it. So that lowers the mower part of it. And then unfold mower, which puts it out to the side. As you can see, also you can actually move that too. Let me see right there see holding LB and the right stick moves it over and then let's see honk and then you can also unload here so if you want to move it all the way over there you can and then turn on the mower and there you go look at that it's filling up pretty fast actually with grass so this is gonna make it a lot easier to gr do grass at all in one go right here so really nice little mod right there oops let's get out of there Okay, so that is the Rabiri. What do you guys think about it in the comment section below, guys? Okay, and then after that one, we have the KFMR Kowak Pyrus Z653. $9,000, this is under potato technology. Four slots, holds up to 200 liters. 45 horsepower is required, 1.5 working meters. And of course, this picks up potatoes off the ground. Uh, but anyways, there is no options for this one right here. So nice little mod right here. We've been actually getting a lot of potato stuff. 
And then after that one, we have a new fertilizer spreader. This is the Lizard NO35, which is $12,000, 12.0 working meters. It is five slots on this one, holds up to 3,200. This one actually does fertilization and lime too. Uh, but options on this one, we have main color, any color, design color the same, and the design color changes, let's just put that right there, changes the bottom, and this one should change the top. Yes, it does. Uh, rim color, any color, then you got extension with extensions or none with extensions you put up to 3200 and then without it is 2200 let's see design we have without stickers we have with stickers which puts the no35 and then without right there so that is the lizard no35 after that one we have a new dolly trailer today and this is the lizard boogeyman dolly it is ten thousand dollars 17 slots a little bit high on that slot count uh but let's see options though we got main color which changes to any color so let's just change this real quick. It changes that right there. Uh, let's see design color. Let's just put this as red. So it changes that right there. And then of course, everybody knows what the rim color does. Let's just change that to blue. Well, it actually doesn't look too bad, I guess. <laughs> Wilbrand, we have Lizard, we have Trellborg or Michelin or Nokian. Uh, let's see, Trellborg, you have twin wheels. Oh, so you can actually get twins on here. Narrow twin wheels. And forestry, then back to twin wheels. Let's see. Nakian, you have twin wheels, narrow twins, and twin wheels. Those tires look amazing. Uh, let's see. Arm, you have standard, you have extension, and then back to standard. Uh, let's see. Fifth wheel locking, gentle locking, partial locking, hard locking, locking disabled. So there's that one right there. So there is this dolly trailer. Probably one of my favorite dolly trailers in the game now. Wow. Okay, then after that one, we have new trucks for today. This is the Man TGX ATF pack, which includes the Man TGX 18640 ATF 012X and the TGX 26640 ATF 022X. Let's see, this one is 130,000, this one is 150,000. Let's see, these are both 33 slots, a little bit high on that slot count. This one holds up to 21,600 liters, and this one holds up to 27,700 liters, and they are both 640 horsepower. Wow. Top speed is 49 miles an hour. Let's see options though. You got main color, any color really. So let's just change that. Changes the cab. And then design color probably changes the trailer in the back, which I can't get back up there for some reason. Okay, come on, get back up there. It won't let me back up there. Okay, let's go back into it. There we go, design color. So there we go right there. Really nice. Configuration, you got the ATF 0120. You got the left, you got the right. And then the 0120 again. So really nice little trailer right there. Okay, and then the bigger one is right over here. And I think it's the same thing with this one. Yes, it is. Let's actually take a look at this one in game. Okay, and so here we are in game to take a look at this nice truck. Uh, let's actually turn on the help window. Okay, let's get into it real quick. So camera inside looks really nice. Uh, let's see, toggle map, horn. You can, let's see, tip left, right, back. Uh, unload here. So this is how it unloads. Okay, so that side opens. Unloads very slowly though. Wow. Okay, let's put that thing back or it's gonna take forever to come back. Okay, uh, let's see. Lights, one set of lights, two set of lights, three sets of lights. Actually, just two sets of lights actually. One, two, yep. Uh, let's see, the interior light up. I don't know. Okay, let's actually turn the engine over. I'm gonna be quiet so you guys can hear it. Okay, so there's the engine sounds. Let's see if this all turns on. Yes, it does. Oh, actually, yeah, I think everything did light up. Yeah, it does. Okay, so that's really nice too. Gonna be quiet so you guys can actually hear it. It actually says 51 miles an hour. Okay, so some really nice sounds on this. Okay, so nice little truck right there. So that right there, guys, is the MAN TGX ATF pack. Okay, and then after that one, we have a new trailer for today. And this one actually looks really good. This is the Underbelly, the Lizard Underbelly. It's $90,000, 10 slots. Wow, this holds up to 110,000 liters. This is a pretty big trailer right here. This actually might be the biggest trailer on console now. Pretty sure it is. If I'm wrong, let me know down in the comment section below. And this actually looks really good. Wow, look at that cover and everything. 
Okay, rim color, any color. Design color, any color. And main color, any color. Let's see what happens when we change the design color. Let's put it as red. So that changes that right there. And then design color probably changes that cover. So let's put it at uh, orange. That just looks really weird like that. But black. There we go. That actually looks really good. Okay, let's see. Configuration, you got the dual tanks, which is 80,000. Or you got the single tank, which is 110,000. I think I'd rather just have the single one because that is a big capacity right there. Okay, Will Brand, we got Lizard. You got Trellborg, Michelin, Nakian. Let's see. Uh, Trellborg, you have twin wheels. You have Forestry, narrow twin wheels. And then back to twin wheels. Let's see. Nakian, twin wheels, narrow twins. And then back to twin. Beacon lights, you got none. You got front, which puts two on the front right there. You got back, which probably puts two in the back, right? Yep, puts two in the back. And then both, so you can have both right there. Uh, let's see, cover decal, you have large, you have small, and then you have none right there. Uh, let's see, side decals, you have large, you have small or none on that one too. So this is a really nice trailer, and this is only 10 slots. Wow, this is probably gonna be my number one trailer in the game. Uh, let me know what you guys actually think about this trailer in the in the comment section below, guys. Okay, and then the next mod is something a little bit different. This is actually the OBE PX125-150. It looks to me like a Vespa. It is $3,800. Let's see, two slots, 37 miles an hour, six horsepower. Wow. Okay, let's see. We got main color. We got either yellow, green, light blue, red, black, or white. Design color, you got blue, beige, black, or white. You got without luggage rack with uh, front luggage rack, back luggage rack, or back to that again. Let's see mirrors. We got without mirrors, left mirror, right mirror, and then with mirrors. And you said we got the PX125, which is six horsepower, the 150, which is eight. So you can go up to eight horsepower. Jeez, wow. A little bit fast right there. Let's see windscreen. We got without windscreen or with windscreen. And that is that one right there. Let's actually get this real quick so we can take a look at it in game. But also this did come with something else. I just got to figure out where exactly it is. Is it in there? Maybe animals. Let's see. Nope, not in there. Um, maybe under big bags. Nope. I can't find. Oh, there it is right there. This also came with milk bottles, which is $50. It holds up to 200 liters. It is one slot. Uh, there's no options for this, but what you do with this, since I can't really show this off, is you put this on the Vespa, and then you can actually go into the milk trigger and you push the load, and it will actually show up as milk bottles in there. Okay, and so here we go with the, I'm sorry, the OBE. Okay, so here is this. I wonder how this thing actually works. Because you just put it like maybe right on here, maybe it attaches, I don't know. Stay, 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 stay. Okay, let's get inside of it real quick. Oh yeah, there you go, milk bottles. So there it is right there. So you put the milk bottles right there. And then what you do is you just go inside of your milk trigger and you can uh, push the fill button. Uh, but anyways, let's see. We got map size. We got start engine, fasten belts, which puts belts on that. That is pretty cool. Uh, and that is it on that one. Let me see. So since we hooked that up, can you actually pick this thing back up or no? No, you can't. Okay. But you can put straps down as you see right there. This thing's a little shaky. Okay. So uh, let's see. Here's a camera. Uh, let's actually turn it on. I'm gonna be quiet so you guys can hear the engine sound. Okay, that is definitely some different engine sounds right there. Okay, top speed is 37 miles an hour. Let's actually drive it and you, let me be quiet so you guys can hear that. Okay, what just happened there? <laughs> this thing's very interesting. <laughs> Be careful turning. <laughs> Jeez. Okay, that right there, guys, is the vest. I mean, sorry, the OBE PX. Okay, and then after that one, we have the last regular mods for today, and this is the Bender Terraland Pack, which includes two cultivators, the Terraland TO6000 and the Press Pack PT. This one is 72,250, and then this one right here is 9,220. So these actually hook up together. 6.0 working meters. This one is nine slots, and this one is eight slots. See, this one requires 500 horsepower, and this one requires 60 horsepower. I think this one, uh, let's see. Subsoil. Oh, so this is actually a subsoiler right here. 
Okay, so that's pretty nice right there. So you, this one can be used instead of plowing. Let's see, options on this one. We got without disc or with disc. A uh, design, you got standard or the Sin Colt. Uh, let's see, back attacher, no or yes on that one. And then with the press pack, you have no options for this one. So that right there, guys, is the Bedner Terra Land pack. Really nice pack right there. Let's get to the new placeables for today. Okay, so here we are looking at the new placeables for today. The first one, let's go to Animal Pins. Let's go all the way to the very end. And there it is right there. It actually includes a few of them. This is the Pig Enclosure Nature. Let's see, this one is 120,000. This one is 120,000. Then we have the smaller versions, which is 10,000 a piece. These ones hold 20 uh, pigs. Seven slots, 17 slots, sorry, for this one. And then seven slots for this one and $5 a day. Let's go ahead and place one of the small ones down. We'll place this one without the decorations. So there's that one. And then we of course have the bigger ones, which is 120,000, uh, 300 for those, seven and 17 slots too with those ones. Uh, let's actually go ahead and place this one. Okay, put that one right there. So here we go, really nice. Um, looks like slurry right there, manure right there. If we go around over to here, let's see, it does flatten the land as you can see. Uh, here's where you get your pigs. So let's just put a few pigs in there. Uh, looks like feed right there and water right there. And you probably put your straw right over here. So really nice little placeable. And then we got the ones with trees. Wow, this one looks really nice. Okay, same same kind of design too. Except for that it has this little house thing right here. Can you actually open the doors? Oh, you can actually open the doors. Okay. You can actually go through it. Okay, so there's that. Let's put a few pigs in those. Oh, this one actually looks really nice. This is probably the nicest pig pen I've seen. Wow. Okay, so that right there, guys, is the pig enclosure nature. Let's get to the rest of the placeables for today. Okay, and now on to the next ones. Okay, let's go under decoration for this next one. And it should be over here. Uh, no, not those. Let's go all the way down over here. Oh, maybe not. Maybe it's under miscellaneous. Yes, there it is right to there. And this is the pack of fences. Uh, includes the fence, fence post and that is it so 500 for those one slot hundred dollars for that one and one slot so let's go ahead and place these real quick we got that one we got that one and then we got the post okay so if we go right there there they are right there pretty nice little bitty pack right there okay so that is the pack of fences okay the next one let's go over here decoration and if we go all right there, there we go right there. This is the brand yard signs, which is three slots. Looks like $100 a piece. We got the Echo, Big Bud, Brent, Case, Challenger, Fence, Great Plains, JCB, John Deere, Lizard, MF, New Holland, Pioneer, Ursus, Wilson. Geez, a lot of them. Let's actually go ahead and place a few. Of course, we got to place the John Deere. So there's that one. And we'll place a Case for a queen okay so there we go right there wow these are actually really small signs i thought these were gonna be like really big signs i'm guessing not okay so there is the brand yard signs okay the last regular mods for okay those pigs are kind of annoying <laughs> let me go over here real quick so you guys can't hear them all right so if we go over to here let's go under miscellaneous and there is the last ones this is the old wooden fence which includes the old fence the old post uh, and that is it on that. So let's see, two, two slots on those and $25 for that one and $50 for that one. Let's go ahead and place that and the old post right there. Okay, so let's go back over to here again. And there they are right there. Pretty nice little bitty thing right there. Okay, so that right there, guys, is all the placeables for today. Of course, we got some updates. So let's go over those updates real quick. Okay, and so here we go for the updates for today. And the first one is a big one. This is for RDC FS19. So if you're playing this, guys, this is a huge, I mean huge update. Uh, for one thing is RDC FS19 is now 100% compatible with the precision farming. Also, there is now productions on the map, which includes tomato, lettuce, cauliflower, carrots, apple, orange, cherry, olive, grape acorn chestnut and almonds yes there is a lot also new traffic 
Uh, so new traffic is going to be in it. Also new crops. They retouched all the crops. New ryegrass crop. New teff crop texturing. New texturing alfalfa cultivation. cultivation uh, changes in the texture of wheat. Also they retouched a lot of the other crops. Also the ground has been uh, redone. Created new areas on the map. Reissued some areas. New shopping areas. New purchased fields. And the terrain texture has changed to spring of course. Uh, spring sounds are back. Uh, livestock has been changed. The diet has changed. Uh, let's see also the climatology spring all through the year they have reduced the rainy days the rain days will last between five hours and a maximum of 10 hours in the game also new spring texturing uh, so there is a lot of stuff also new bunkers for silage new grain silos new herbicide storage tank new digestate storage tank new storage tank for liquid fertilizer new silo to store feed new silo to store lime seed and solid fertilizer and then of course the productions i mentioned the new vehicles uh new points of sale new crops a lot of stuff remember though with this map guys this map is not compatible with seasons or the straw harvest so that is a huge update for the rdc map Wow, I need to take a breath after all that one. Okay, but anyways, the next update we have is for another map. This is for Lee Rizzi Del Nord. What did this change on this one? Fix various bugs, remove chickpeas, and increase capacity of the silos, and also improve the terrain in some fields on that one. So that is for the Lee Rizzi Del Nord. The next one, the class is Arion 3000. What did this change on this one? Physics improvement, new camera position, and minor bugs fixes on that one. Then the next one, the Samsung Slurry Pack. What did this change on this one? Steering of the intake pipe revised and filled fill trigger error on the PG235M profile when configuring the intake pipe on that one. And then the next one after that one, the optional fertilization. What did this change on this one? Fixed small bugs on that one. Then we have the Homer Slurry Pack and the change log on that one, fixed small issues on that one. And then after that one, we have the Joskin Silo Space 22. What did this change on this one? Added new tires, new speckler map and normal map, new warning signs, new fill volume, reworked the 3D model, and minor fixes and improvements for that one. And then the last update for today is for the Slurry Dealer Pack. And what did this change on this one? The control for switching between profile, easy, with gamepads has been revised on that one. So that is all the updates for today. Okay, and now since the mods are done, let's go over the new mods that we can look forward to hopefully pretty soon on that testing list. On PC, we have the additional field info, animated object extend, louder class air honks, machine shelter, map objects, Mossy Ferguson 398, mower sound, precision farming add-on, Seasons Geo Griffin Indiana 19, small leveler, spotlight, Storage for manure, Welchin 2K20, Wooden Barn. So that is on the PC side. On the PS4 and Xbox One, there's actually quite a lot. So let's see, we have the Case IH AFS Connect Steiger Series, Community Building, Crawler Loader Labur 622 Pack, Cultum Earth L300 with Cedar, Dara Zak Gizenka, Fen 9490X, Fill Trigger Conveyor Belts, Griffin, Indiana, Hardy Interactive Sprayers, Homemade Bale Trailer, Houses in Polish Style, the International 1455 and 1255XL, the John Deere DN1006, the K258, the Kuhn 1200 Extra, the Kuhn Interactive Sprayers, Lizard Weight Pack, and yes, you guys see it right. Millennial Farms is back in console testing. New Bartle Shagan. Old Barn. Potato Cellar. Ranch Access 50.2. Solar Panel Warehouse. Switchback Cannon. Upper Lake Farm. Venus JVK 16,000. Vehicle Shelter Pack, Wooden and Brick Shed Pack, and last but not least is the Wooden Shed. None mods waiting to be tested is zero. There is actually zero mods waiting to be tested after this list. Current Azure Tune, guys, is only one workday for that list. 
Okay guys, so that right there was the new mods, the testing list, all the news, the updates, that was everything for today. Now today's schedule after this video, I'm gonna be trying to get out the Lazy Acres Farm map tour. And then of course tonight at 7.30 p.m. Central Standard Time, we'll be actually doing a live stream. So hopefully you guys do check that out. Our live streams on the weekends are amazing, guys. I cannot wait. But anyways, remember if you guys did like the video, make sure you guys do pound that like button. If you have something, make sure you guys do. And also walk into the club, guys. Have it all stay, guys. Peace.